All right. Now, this next part is going to be basically taking this wheel apart, wire reel. Just kind of warp. We'll have to work on that. I've got an idea that maybe I can use this, the plastic from this uh, 55 gallon drum as the paddles and possibly also as the core because this has a cardboard core in it right now. So we need a uh, better core. And this one kind of got busted. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, this was actually a little experiment that I did to uh, see how much pressure a 55 gallon plastic drum can hold. Not as much as you would think. I think it busted at about maybe 30 PSI, 35, something like that. It didn't hold much pressure. I didn't really think it would. That's why it was way back behind the house and I was in front of the house when I did the test so yeah anyway that is going to be what I'm going to make the paddles out of and possibly the core I don't even know yet first thing we have to get this apart it has 9 sixteenths bolts running through it And have a pair of vice grips on this side. I would like to be able to save these long bolts. I don't know if I'll be able to. Will that work? It's not really that heavy. Okay. Yeah, see this paper core was not going to work. It would have deteriorated really quick, even just being outside for a little while. It's already starting to fall apart. So we couldn't have that anyway. Wasp nests in here. Okay. All right. There's 24 paddles going all the way around. Now let's say we go, I can put eight paddles in, which would be that much space for them. Well, we had a stowaway. He has receded back into his shell. But, um, I'm going to go find him a safe place to uh, stay other than a construction zone here like what, uh, what we have right now. There he is. He's coming out. It's not the best uh, focus ever was. You can kind of see him a little bit. What we're going to do though is find him a nice spot where he can just go on his way and uh, live to crawl another day. There you go, buddy. Have a safe journey there. If I can take and make a one foot by one foot paddle make like eight of them then we can mount those directly on here maybe leave a little bit that i can fold up and screw to here let's see what we can do okay so what i have here is this is a floor tile one foot by one foot bendable 
I figure one foot by one foot paddles should work, right? So, as we throw our marker on the ground, we'll pick it back up and mark out a one foot by one foot square. Well, I can kind of see. Why don't we try cutting that out? So what we're doing, we've got, we're going to have about that much gap between each one. So you got one, two, and then a paddle. Then you have one, two, and a paddle. This one I need to trim the paddle up. One, two, paddle right here. I have to trim that one up too. Then you got one, two, paddle. And all the way around. Got a bunch more paddles, so I guess I'll work on this for a little while and try to get some paddles in. All right, you can see I got the core put in and I had to cut it down a little so that the fins will actually be sticking up enough that they can go into these. Now I'm going to stick the top on it, which it is a little warped. And let's see how we can get this lined up. All right, so, well, what did we do today? Got to start on the actual wheel itself. You can see it behind me here. It's uh, partially put together. Um, the actual wire reel was warped. So, uh, only I can think of to kind of compress it together okay I used my homemade linear actuator to compress it let me show you what I did okay you know on this side I've got a little piece of metal welded to it and it's enough where it won't go through and then over on this side I've of course got my drill hooked up both my batteries are dead so yeah but I got my drill hooked up and I got this welded on this side to prevent the uh, this this side from going in and that pulled the whole thing together and I have the veins or paddles or whatever you want to call partially screwed in I'm out of screws too so <laughs> got you know one here and we'll have one over here there 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 and i'm going to also run some silicone around um and i want to put a piece in there to seal that up anyway it is it's coming along you can see the wheel is still warped a little bit uh i'm gonna have to figure out how to get that straightened up but it's not really a big deal i don't think as long as it's not sticking out this way it should be fine anyway 
I think that's probably going to be about all I'm going to do today. I got to get some more screws and my batteries have got to charge up. So, you know, I've got a little bit done. Got to start on it anyway. But I guess that's going to about do it for the water wheel build so far today. Um, kind of out of materials. Going to have to wait till I get to go to the store. But uh, that'll probably about do it for this video. Appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.